Greetings, mathematicians. We are in the last lesson of the unit of unit three. Review operations with fractions. That means we're going to go over a quick overview of addition and subtraction. And these two are connected. And then we'll go into multiplication and division. And those two have a connection. All right. If you need to pause, we're on 32, 30, 32L, 32R. Otherwise, stick with me. All right. Let's go to the top. And I believe we're going to be on the 30th of November. Unit 3, Lesson 12, Review Operations with Fractions. Our objective, I will review how to solve problems that add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. Read it with me. I will review how to solve problems that add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. All right, next up, adding and subtracting. We're going to focus in on these two because they both uh, must have common denominators. This is a three exclamation point. Oh, what, what the heck, let's make it five. This is a must, must, must. So when we have two fractions, such as one quarter and three fifths, if we're gonna add them, we can't do anything until we make the denominators match. Now, this can be done by turning one denominator into the other using multiplication. This is not the case. So what we are gonna end up doing here is, we need a number that they have in common that's a multiple. So we can make a list of our fours and fives, and see where they overlap, or we can simply use the denominators. So one quarter, I will use five as my multiplier. Say it with me, multiplier. So I will multiply one quarter by this denominator. One times five is five, four times five is 20. 20 will be my common denominator. All right, other side, I have three fifths. My multiplier will now be four. Three times four is 12. Five times four is 20. Ta-da, we can do something with this. Now we can add them up. Numerator plus numerator, 17. Keep the denominator. What do we have to do? We have to keep it. All right, so we need a multiplier and we need to keep the denominator. All right, let's take a Quick peek down below, subtracting. Uh, when we're subtracting fractions, I went and used two friendly fractions that we already have. Even with mixed numbers, we have to get those common denominators first. Now we do know the common denominator for a quarter. A quarter is 5 20ths. So we can rewrite this as two and 5 20ths minus one and 3 fifths is 12 twentieths, let's do that. All right, notice we have a problem here. We're starting with this, the bigger number. Two is bigger than one, but the fractions don't really work for us. Can you take 12 from five? No, we can't. So what we have to do is we have to borrow. So we're gonna turn our two into a one, and we're gonna add one whole number to the five. And since we're working with a denominator of 20, we need to make that borrow 20 over 20. And let's keep moving our problem to the right. It's 5 plus 20. We get 1 and 25 twentieths. Let's move this whole thing over. 1 and 12 twentieths. Can we take 12 away from 25? Yes, we can. So 5 minus, or I'm sorry, 25 minus 12. That's right, we get 13. Keep the denominator. Keep it at 20, just like we did with addition. Now, one minus one, zero. So our answer is 13 twentieths. When you're borrowing, it's crucial. The denominator decides how much you borrow. All right. Adding and subtracting is clearly the more difficult 
of these skills. Go back and watch my earlier videos. Brain Pop has a great video on this one. Khan Academy has tons of videos on adding and subtracting. This is the hardest part of fifth grade. All right, next up, let's go somewhere very easy, multiplying fractions, one of the easiest, because essentially we have a fraction and a fraction. We have a numerator times a numerator, and a denominator times a denominator. We get the answer. One times four, four. Three times five, 15. Four fifteenths is our answer. Sometimes we can simplify it. Sometimes we'll get a numerator that's bigger on top than on the bottom, and we simply divide. Uh, let's, let's do that. Let's do two thirds times. Um, let's make this a big number. Three. So three over one. Two times three is six. Three. We have an improper fraction. Divide down. Six divided by three. We get two. By far, multiplying is the easiest. Easiest operation. All right, and our very last skill before Thanksgiving break, hopefully you didn't forget the, the shortcut here. Uh, it is to keep change flip. So for instance, we have a whole number. I will keep it as a whole number over one. I will come through, I'll change the opposite of division, which is multiplication. And when I flip, I get the reciprocal of the second position. One over three turns into three over one. 15 times three, 45 over one, or simply 45. This one is only difficult if you flip the wrong fraction. Um, I do have a song that I'll post for you guys to worm its way into your brain so we can keep the order correct. But dividing fractions is easy as long as we know our reciprocal. And we keep this mnemonic device handy. All right, my friends, thanks for watching. I have some sample problems for you and think central.